welcome to another Art at Home YouTube tutorial. So in today's session we're going to be learning how to draw. Now this task is set for my year 10 students because they're drawing a pomegranate as part of their natural forms project. However, everything that I'm going to teach you about is useful for any artist that wants to learn to draw. So when you're drawing, there's loads of things you have to think about. First of all, you have to think about what to draw. You don't want to be drawing a potato when you could be drawing something detailed like a pomegranate. When it comes to fruit, it's always more interesting to have the fruit cut in half rather than just looking at the outside. But we also need to think about tone, form, shape, contrast, detail, mark making, outlines. So all these things I'm going to talk to you about in this session. I hope you enjoy it. When you look here you see two circles, one is completely blank. Now this one here I'm starting to add tone into it or I'm starting to add one shade of tone into it. So the question I'm going to ask you is which one looks more 3D? Actually none of them look 3D. By adding tone in blank areas, just one tone doesn't actually make an object look 3D. However if you notice on the third circle I'm toning in the outside and then changing the gradient of the tone towards the, the kind of center left and now you can see that actually that looks 3D. Okay, so yes, that is 3D and the direction of the light is coming here. So here I'm starting to draw the outline of the pomegranate. So you'll notice I'm turning the page upside down. I'm right-handed so it's easier to create kind of the curve by turning the page upside down. If you're left-handed, it's exactly the same, but just the other way around. Then I'm starting to add the details. So we have kind of the top and the bottom of the pomegranate and making sure that my edges are a little bit clearer. So I'm starting to be a little bit more de definitive with my lines. Now I'm constantly referring back to the original image here and I'm starting to add in the seeds of the pomegranate. So looking at the image, looking back at my paper and starting to map out lightly where the seeds go. When we add tone, we change the pressure of our pencil from harder to lighter. But we can also do this through mark making. Now I'm starting to add in tone to the pomegranate, constantly referring back to that original image. So I'm pressing harder with the pencil and starting to pick out the darkest areas that I see. But the key is not to colour in everywhere. There should be a lot of white space still left in order to show contrast. Contrast is something that students really trip up on and they think that because their teachers told them to do a tonal drawing that they have to colour the whole thing in grey. But actually this is not the case. Here you'll see on the left a low contrast image. So all of the tones are really similar to each other and a lot of the detail is lost within the lightest part of the pomegranate. On the right hand side there's a high contrast image which shows the seeds as being really dark and then the gaps in between as really light. So actually when we're drawing we want to keep the area that's light completely white in order to show mark making and detail. Now I've toned in all of the seeds I'm starting to add in those little marks that are kind of in the white areas uh, of the flesh of the pomegranate. So if I'd added loads of tone to this already I wouldn't be able to show this mark making in detail so it's really important that you keep that contrast high. So the kind of marks that I'm using are lines, dashes and dots and I'm even going around the edges slightly, not, being careful not to give too much of one thick heavy outline like a cartoon but adding an edge to it with a little bit of tone in order to get rid of any fake looking outlines. To add a little bit more depth 
to your picture, you can add just a little bit of cross hatching to show some of the background tone. I've only done this on the bottom left hand side. So there you have it folks, here is my finished pomegranate tonal drawing.